Tonight, a local police substation now bears the name of an officer tragically killed in the line of duty. An emotional ceremony was held today to honor the memory of Sergeant Maxwell Dorley, who died earlier this year while rushing to help fellow officers in distress. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is in our newsroom now with all the new details. Their job is to serve and protect, but sometimes tragedy strikes in the line of duty. The legacy of one Providence policeman will now live on following a special dedication. An emotional morning for the family of late Providence Police Sergeant Max Dorley, especially for his daughter Amanda. My father lived an amazing life to where he died for it. An outstanding man who was just in love with his family. Dorley was killed in April when his patrol car struck a utility pole on Admiral Street. He was responding to a disturbance call of an officer needing assistance. On Thursday, Dorley's memory was honored during the dedication of Providence Police Department District 7 substation on Camden Avenue. Even though it was a tragedy to lose him, but it was a blessing to know that his legacy will always be remembered. We want to make sure that we never forget those who have sacrificed for our city. And Sergeant Dorley made the ultimate sacrifice for our city. Dorley spent 16 years serving with the Providence Police Department. Those who knew him best say he was more than just a great cop. He was a standout in the community. Uh, I still go to calls to this day and speak to people from the community and they mention Max Dorley. People recognize what he did for the city and his department. But he loved being a cop and he died being a cop. The chief of police says that Dorley would have appreciated all of the kind words, but he wouldn't have liked all the fanfare from the dedication. That's just the kind of humble guy he was. In the newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.